Okay, here we go. This is this is old Gabby. And this is not a spring chicken today. We're going to be talking about lifeguards and their and their two hundred thousand dollar pay. Well, part of it is, is they're talking about a beach city. First of all, that's Newport Beach. Mm -hmm. okay. That's broke. It's cutting services everywhere you can think of. Totally flat out broke. Mm -hmm. And and they had to find out lifeguards start out with a fifty eight thousand dollar a year pay scale. Well, okay, we're gonna back up just. For, for a little bit, is that lifeguards are, at least in L.A., are part of the L.A. Okay, City the, fire, uh, the, uh, uh, fire Department. County, <coughs> the county life, uh, counties, are, which is ran by the, by, the, are ran by the fire department, state parks are ran, they have a different set of lifeguards over there, but the problem is they're still union. Mm -hmm. And the unions are basically, I mean, no one, they like said, no one regrets a fireman, the money that they're making, because firemen really have, I mean, uh, the uh, I remember I, know, I went to school with a, with a couple of signs of a fireman and basically they there would be uh, two you know I, there would be the father would be on two days off two days on two days off two days which made it virtually I mean uh, it made it impossible for him to really do a lot of things and he, he was, he was the, their father was a was a fire captain he was also um, the uh, the, the coach uh, manager of our little league team, but he would never because of the on two days and off two days, every, he would miss baseball games. Mm -hmm. So because of that, and it's just it's the way it is, they they risk their lives, and mm -hmm. so you pay them for risking their lives. Well, also here in the city of Los Angeles, getting to work with the fire department is very difficult. Yeah, I've heard. So you got to pass all kind of tests. It's why, okay, it's why um, you don't see as many women on the fire department because the women cannot pass. The, okay, I mean, God, I mean, I can't. Can you imagine running with a heavy weight on your shoulder? I mean, oh gosh, for example, you got to carry that hose. Yeah. And if, of course, also to wear that uniform. I don't know how many pounds of weight uh, it has. The tank, I think, is like 40, 50 pounds that they have to wear now. Yeah. And by the time women are not built for that type of thing, so there's very few women, and it's a and to be a Los Angeles County lifeguard, you have to, a woman has to be able to pass the, the test to be a fireman. Mm. So if you look closely on the vehicles when they're going down the beach, it says Los Angeles uh, County Fire Department on almost all the beach all the yeah. vehicles. So I mean, I know they're getting a lot of flack for this, and part of it is people have this idea. Well, a couple of a couple of them had. Um, we saved it up to two hundred thousand dollars, but that's just a, a couple people. Yeah. Most of them don't make that much because we've seen a lot of them where, you know, there's no lifeguard stations open and they look like they're all off duty and they're coming out. I mean, and we've talked about this many times. Is they come out when it doesn't look like they're supposed to be working and they're just patrolling the beaches. Yeah, it's just on right. their own. You know, they're staying in shape, but this is at their expense because of all. They've had to cut back lifeguards everywhere because. You look at, I mean, like, um, how often, if you go to any beach in this country, where do you see all the lifeguard stands open? Most of them are totally vacant now because uh, they'll have one open, two that are not open, one open, three that are not open. You know, where there's a, where there's a majority of people, you might see four or five open in a row. But then, it gets beyond that, they're not open anymore. Well, you know what I find is interesting? Like, with fire department, they think of people, it's like, most of the fire department, they, they usually are not fighting that many fires. That's right. Because the fires only happen, it's seasonal. It's kind of like lifeguards are seasonal, yeah. you know, when it's busy during the summer when there's... But they do work the rest of the year. Yeah, it's just like... It's just yeah, like fire department. You know, we had a fire department over where I used to live in the marina. They had fire station 110. The most of the work they get at 110 is supposed to sink in the, sink in the harbor. They're, they're, they're basically docked and they sink. That was the, most of their action was going over to sinking boats, mm -hmm. and that's basically you know can you imagine that uh, all day long and all night and well there's a boat sinking over here oh yeah and then they and they have to clean all this equipment every time they go out they got to reclean the equipment. But part of it is you know similar to a fireman or to a lifeguard is they are what. I wouldn't say on call. They're working, but they always have to be ready to jump at a moment's notice oh, I know. to the call. Okay, how do you know that you got a real lifeguard out there and not a police officer manning stations? The police officers do man stations. Oh. The real lifeguard always backs up. Mm -hmm. And always never, keeps his eyes on the, on the ocean. On everything. He'll back up the stairs. He'll back, you know, if he's walking to set up his cones on the beach, he backs up. You know, and, and he's watching and he's looking. And he's always got his little, uh, little, and he's got that little fl uh, thing, the flotation device with him in his hand. Mm -hmm. That's how you can tell the lifeguards. And you mean they have police officers 
No, they don't have police officers. They've got lots of police officers on these beaches, folks. Yeah. Yeah, okay, if a guy's got a stomach out to here and is 80 years old, he is not a life officer. Not, not a lifeguard, no. Actually, he's a life officer. You know, there's a guy that comes out at the station, you know, and he remember after he's been there for about, oh, I've got to put the flag up, push it up, you know. I mean, everybody that goes to the beaches in Southern California, it's not giving a secret out, you know that there are TV monitors in some of these stations. Well, and you could usually tell the lifeguard because they've got the red trunks on, yeah. right? They're um, mainly male. There are a few females yeah. um, that we've seen, but not very many. Not many. Uh, you know, I, I, I actually saw... This was one I hadn't seen before. Was a, what was it over in Manhattan Beach? A female lifeguard wearing a two-piece swimsuit. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd never seen that. Even on um, on on uh, Baywatch, they never wore two-piece swimsuits. They wore the French cut with the grill up the side, so they could make. That was TV. Yeah, I mean those don't, don't exist either. But um, uh, you know, because I mean, they, they, you see the we see the junior lifeguard training things out here. Where they have all these young kids out training them to go through all of this stuff, but they got it. They got a really big stretch. I've seen, actually, we've seen the senior lifeguards, the ones that man the stations, all you know, the, the pencil pushers, and they're a lot of them are very out of shape, but they go, <laughs> and they're trying to get back in shape because they got to pass the test. Well, and part of it is is um, with the lifeguards, and I know they were talking about them having all this overtime. Is they have more lifeguards, of course, during the summer. Yeah. Right. Uh, Memorial Day is when we were told that Memorial Day is when they start filling the stations up. Uh, at, at, you know, basically, they right now you can get in California Monday through Thursday. There may not be a lot of lifeguards mm -hmm. out. So they do have lifeguards throughout the rest of the year, but during, of course, the summer months they have more, and we see. Differences in quantities of lifeguards depending on what the weather is supposed to be like. Yeah, if the weather, it, we've had really bad, we, 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 we've had June gloom, you know, which is really crappy weather for some time now. I think we're in the third year of June gloom. Well, which also makes it different because if you're planning from a perspective, um, you know, it's like how do you plan manpower, right? Yeah. So you have everybody's regular schedule, but when it's it's going to be hot or it's a holiday, you need more personnel. Yeah, and, then, and a good one, you, can, you want to tell the tourists from the people that live here, if the weather's crappy and there's people on the beaches, they're not Californians. They do not go out to these beaches. I mean, we, we know some beaches that we go to to do filming at where you can, we've actually shown that she's the only person on the beach except us. Well, that's why we stand out really a lot sometimes. Because we, we would rather have a crowd than standing in the middle of Southern California. Here's the thing is, is that, um, um, like we've talked about it before, there is such a monetary crunch in California that everybody is, can give you a citation for indecent uh -huh. exposure. And, and also, you're not to be filming on beaches in California without a uh, filming permit either. Uh -huh. We can do news things, but we can't do, we no longer do long pieces down on the beach. We'll I do know, news pieces. that was nice when we used to be able to do that. We set up our tent, we set out there for hours and do stuff, but no more because uh, uh, our equipment, you know, it says 3D on the side of it. Well, we also don't want it in the sand, but yeah. part of it is, is um, we're not pulling full film permits to shoot every day. No, not at the cost of shooting out there. Mm -hmm. Plus, you have to have a police officer with you and a mm -hmm. lifeguard and emergency vehicles and all these things. It's just too expensive. So, we no longer do long pieces at the beach. We'll do long pieces at some places, like mm -hmm. where we can set up for a while. Mm -hmm. But, uh, no, but the, but the lifeguard thing is just like... It, it just it, it should never have happened in Newport Beach. They should not have okay when they're cutting back on lifeguards to begin with because we've seen in Newport Beach well, a lot of their life basically Newport Beach has the um, those plastic portable things that they move well, back. Well, I'm also thinking that they cut back so much that the ones that they had they had to pay them overtime because mm -hmm. because what happens is your lifeguards that you think you had. If you are not paying them enough for them to live, they go find other jobs. No, but when I was growing up, I mean, I, I'm from the, you know, the Ronald Reagan era when he was a lifeguard too. But lifeguards, a lot of actors were lifeguards. Basically, they uh, they came out and they only worked. Okay, what was is the lifeguards were athletes. You know, they were swim team members and stuff, and they used the opportunity. Basically, they couldn't if they were athletes. You couldn't get paid for 
for doing it. But you could get paid if you were a, a, a competitive swimmer. You could get paid for being a lifeguard because that's a you know different type job. It's the same thing, but you're keeping in training at the time. Our uh, basically, I've seen Olympic swim, uh, Olympic uh, um, ice skaters being lifeguards because it basically keeps their legs and their arms because it, it really is all of the body that keeps their things. You know, and you know, so and if you're a if you're a runner. It, you can run, basically, you can, I guess if you want to, you can run up and down the beach all day long as long mm -hmm. as you're keeping an eye on what you're doing. It's just a, it was a great way for athletes to keep in shape, but then what happened was, was that it became part of the fire department. And when it became part of the fire department's job to maintain it, you then had a whole new set of rules. And, for the, and you had to start paying people more money when you started to have to pay more money, a different set of people. Mm -hmm. Came out for the jobs, and they lost a lot of the student athletes and stuff. So, mm -hmm. so but um, it, it basically it's it's the situation that exists in Newport Beach is existing all over, all over the state of California, where you got people making outrageous sums of money, and they're making outrageous sums of money because they've cut back on the personnel that they're using. I don't know, one guy was I don't know, one guy getting 20 hours. I read, I was reading a thing that said he was getting 20 to 30 hours of overtime a week. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, wouldn't it just been simpler to have hired two other people? Well, they we said, but that's not how it works. Well, see, the other time, is, part of it is they have an allocation that they can hire so many people. Yeah. Right? So you go through your allocation, and then if something comes up and, well, there's a fire or it's really warm and you need to be out there, then they just have the people work overtime. Yeah. They don't bring in other people. <laughs>